In this video, we're discussing seven proverbs written thousands of years ago, but contain timeless wisdom that is relevant today. Out of the seven, there's going to be one that jumps out at you and transforms your thinking for the better. See for yourself as we discuss seven timeless truths, starting with number seven, right now. Number seven, choose your words carefully. Proverbs 12:18 says, careless words stab like a sword, but the words of the wise bring healing. Too many times we let our emotions get the best of us and say hurtful things to people that we don't mean. Whenever you're angry or upset, take a couple seconds to calm down because careless words can be forgiven, but seldom are they forgotten. Number six, give honest feedback. Proverbs 28, 23 says, those who correct others will later be liked more than those who give false praise. We can't accomplish our dreams on our own, and along the way, we need constructive feedback. When it comes to this feedback, we can receive what we want to hear, which is validation, or what we need to hear, which is education. In the short term, someone may love you if you validate them and give them false praise and tell them they're wonderful when they're really not. But that love will eventually fade. If you truly love someone, You'll educate them and tell them what they need to hear, even when it makes you uncomfortable and even when they may hate you for it. But always try to give constructive feedback with love. As Rick Warren has said, truth without love is resisted. Truth with love is received. Number five, use your heart and your head. Proverbs 19.2 says, Enthusiasm without knowledge is not good. If you act too quickly, you might make a mistake. Look at enthusiasm as coming from your heart and knowledge and wisdom coming from your head. I think of what Michael Scott did in the popular TV show, The Office. In one episode titled Scott's Tots, Michael promises a class of third graders that if they graduated high school, he would pay for their college. This promise was out of enthusiasm and one from the heart. However, over the next 10 years, Michael didn't have a plan on how to pay for their college, and when he went back to the school to tell those kids he couldn't pay for their college, they were crushed. Think carefully about any dream you pursue or commitment you make. Make sure the enthusiasm from your heart is coupled with the necessary wisdom and knowledge in your head to follow through with it. Number four, kindness over cruelty. Proverbs 11:17 says, a man who is kind benefits himself, but a cruel man hurts himself. The lens you use to view others is the one you use to view yourself. Basically, if you focus on the negatives in others, you'll focus on the negatives in yourself, but focus on the positive in others, you'll focus on the positives in yourself. I've struggled with my confidence and self-esteem most of my life, but the wisdom of this verse helped me tremendously. You see, when you don't feel good about who you are, it's hard to take a compliment from someone. It's hard to see the good in yourself. What is easier is giving a compliment to someone else and seeing the good in them. Number three, choose fulfilled dreams over deferred hope. Proverbs 13, 12 says, hope deferred makes the heart sick but a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. When you're hopeful for something and it isn't as easy as you were expecting or it isn't happening as fast as you were expecting, it can make your heart sick. And that deferred hope can cause you to give up right before you are about to succeed. Whenever you're at a point of giving up on a dream in your heart, you know you're on this earth to fulfill. Remember that your fulfilled dream is well worth the temporary heartache that you experience along the way. Number two, adversity tests your strength. Proverbs 24.10 says, if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. I experienced some adversity with my YouTube channel recently. I spent seven hours editing a video, and when it was finished, I felt great about it. But while I was uploading, my computer crashed and the video wasn't saved. I was devastated because all the hard work was for nothing. 
I was honestly at the point of giving up my YouTube dreams and never making another video again. But then I thought about this verse. I realized that if I was going to let one video that wouldn't upload cause me to quit, then I'd never have the strength to make my dreams come true. So I redid the whole thing, and here's a card to check out the video if you want to see it. Bottom line, don't let tough times get the best of you. Use them to get the best out of you. And number one, bless others. Proverbs 11.25 says, The one who blesses others is abundantly blessed. Those who help others are helped. I believe we all have been given a unique gift that when used properly will abundantly bless us. Not necessarily a financial blessing, but an abundant blessing to our soul and a fulfilling life that money can't buy. The late motivational speaker Zig Ziglar has said, you can have everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want. And there's so much wisdom in this quote. You see, I believe your unique gift is not meant for you to fulfill your wants and needs, but to fulfill the wants and needs of others. Once your heart transforms towards blessing others, that's when your life will be filled with abundant blessings. I do want to point out that a countdown implies that number one is most valuable. That's not necessarily the case here. The book of Proverbs in the Bible contains 31 chapters and hundreds of verses of valuable wisdom that will enrich your life. Consider reading it for yourself and let me know which Proverbs you find most helpful. Also, if you're looking for more ways to transform your thinking for the better, consider subscribing today and clicking the bell notification so you don't miss the newest video that posts on Mondays. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.